thecombatsystem.com. Today I'm going to be making a couple of videos that basically contradict a lot of what the very popular uh, Chris at Lucky Gunner has to say. The first one will be why clear ballistics gel doesn't work and make smaller calibers look better than they are. And this is not just opinion. I'm going to give you the actual science and math and study of this. And the other will be why the caliber debate or caliber argument is not dumb. To sum it up, a 45 HST does 73% more damage to tissue mathematically than a 9mm HST, and I will give you that in the other video. In this video, I want to talk about clear ballistics gel and why that is not, absolutely not the same as real ballistics. Now, Chris, in some of his comments, he's obviously started to realize that. And even uh, another great guy who just came back, and I, I'm glad he's a little bit healthier, whatever's going on with uh, shooting the Bull 410. He also concluded one of his long, um, long time um, video trials going back to Rio Ballistics Gel. Very good reasons for this, guys. So, um, Clear Ballistics Gel is not the same. The consistency is much less. It tears too easily. Uh, based on variance and, and all the different YouTube testers out there, I would, with a good degree of certainty, say that variances in temperature and sitting out in light and heat affect its consistency quite a bit. Um, and everyone is not keeping track of things like temperature like the FBI does. Um so basically, guys, a 45, I'm going to, I'm comparing real data from Vista Outdoors, from Vista, meaning Spear, Federal, owned by Vista, the real data from Vista with their HST and Gold Dots, and comparing that over to Lucky Gunner. Now, there is small differences variable of barrel length. Uh, in 9 and 40, uh, in Vista's testing is done from a 4-inch barrel, and 45 is done from a 5-inch barrel. Now, um, on Lucky Gunner, it's Lucky Gunner. It's a three and a half inch barrel for nine millimeter, three point four two inch barrel for forty, and a three point six four inch barrel for forty five. So there is quite a difference in the forty five. Um, that is a variable, but basically, guys, if you look at the forty five difference between real ballistics testing by Vista and actually controlled temperatures versus Someone like Lucky Gunner. I appreciate Lucky Gunner. I appreciate Ammo to Go. I appreciate all the uh, ballistics uh, testers over the years, like Scuba Oz and TN Outdoors and Shooting the Bull and all. And now One Shot's a new guy and, and, and all, 7N6. All these guys, I appreciate being able to look at that data. But Clear Gel is not real ballistics gel. The 45, five HSTs and Gold Dots that were both in the Vista and the Lucky Gunner. A testing chart you guys can look at that you're probably all familiar with. The 45 only goes 0.71 out of those five loads, 0.71 inches farther on average in clear ballistics. But what happens when we drop down to a smaller diameter, and more specifically, my guesstimation, and there's some data to back it up, smaller diameter, lighter bullet weights, faster lighter bullets. If we look at 9mm, 7 loads that were tested in both and compare them, and guys, I have all the exact data written down here. This is the actual testing data from Vista compared to Lucky Gunner. Out of the 7 loads in 9mm, those 7 loads went a total of 24.2 inches, 24.28 uh, inches farther than they did in the Vista data. Divided by 7, that means 3.468 inches further on average in clear ballistics lucky gunner test versus actual real ballistic testing by Vista. 0.71 inches, as um, actually in the video Chris said, that comparable, that's comparable or comparable somewhat. Get a 9mm and other smaller calibers, especially Pocket pistol calibers? Is it comparable? No, it absolutely is not. And it's kind of dangerous um, to think that it's not. 3.46 inches is quite a difference. 3.468. So that's what you're seeing on average in 9mm 
you're seeing that go further and you're like, well, man, it even goes deeper. When I want that deep pen penetration, you looked into ballistics and you're like, deep penetration is number one, expansion is number two, but we didn't, really didn't understand mathematically what that all means really. Um, so you looked at nine millimeter and that, and when I got back into really carrying firearms, um, I went back to nine millimeter and I'm now switching back primarily more to 45. I still think nine millimeter and others, as long as you have the best bullets bonded or close to bonded, like HST or a golden saber black belt or a gold dot, as long as you have one of those three, yes, it's still very good. Okay. Compared to the past, it's still very, very good, but they're not all apples. Okay. It's not the same. Again, a 45 HST to 73% or 173% of the damage that a, the best 9mm HST does. That's just sign fact, and I'll get more in, a, in the other video. It really go as far as you think if you're just looking at clear ballistics tests. And anything smaller than a 9mm, probably even exponentially more so. 9mm, again, has to be one of the best bonded or near bonded bullets really does cheap nine millimeter do nearly as good as cheap 40 or cheap 45 no absolutely not because even if they're going to leave some lead trails and break up a bit uh the mass and momentum is going to carry it deeper penetration and a bigger larger heavier clump still when it gets to the goodies okay nine millimeter and anything less guys if you're looking at clear ballistics jail you need to move back that chart from instead of like 12 to 18, you need to move it from like 15 to 21, 22. If you're looking at clear ballistics testing, that's where you need to be if you're looking at anything smaller than 40 cal. If you're looking at 40, 45, maybe not necessarily the case. Don't really have enough data on 40 to know, but on 45, it's somewhat comparable, um, it looks like. But that's mostly because of momentum. And because the clear gel, again, tears much easier than real ballistics gel. While we're getting into that, guys, screwdriver bullets are complete bullshit. I'm sorry if you bought some really expensive stuff, but you don't know what you're talking about. Screwdrivers, water splash that has the same amount of foot-pounds of energy as a small toddler falling down on his bum isn't really that hurtful. Okay. It's not just because it tears clear gel and, and Chris has made that in one of the comment sections replying to a video why he doesn't test screwdriver type bullet, extreme penetration, extreme whatever, and ARX. That doesn't work. Might it work 10,000 feet per second plus someday in the future with bolt guns? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If... But if, even if it worked in rifles, you'd be seeing it marketed in rifles, and every military around the world, especially ones that signed the Hague Convention, would be using it. If you choose it in 380 because you like the penetration numbers, good for you. But absolutely don't expect that it does anything like you're seeing in clear ballistics with temporary stretch cavities that are not real under 22 feet per second. Temporary stretch cavities do not matter. Stop lo looking at, oh my God, in clear ballistics. That doesn't matter, and it certainly doesn't matter with little screwdriver bullets that have almost no foot-pounds of energy. A little bit of water slosh when we're made up, of, made up of mostly water simply doesn't matter. Real ballistic still doesn't tear. Real things like pigs and humans don't just tear apart. Oh my god, the block split in two. People aren't going to split in two like you took an axe through them from a giant. It's not going to happen. Okay, so it's a really bad choice, and maybe in, 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 in pocket pistols, I mean, whatever, fine, you know, because the argument can be made for ball, which it basically is going to perform like, almost really, that's all it's going to do is whatever ball does in that category, if it gives you the penetration numbers you like, go for it. Nine millimeter above, absolutely not. I mean, I guess if you wanted to put it in a backup mag for the extremely rare case of an extended firefight where everyone's behind cover, behind cars and whatnot, and that extremely rare percentage, well, yeah, okay, I guess you can make that argument for that. But really, would a gold dot or a critical duty, though critical duty absolutely sucks in 9mm, but would a gold dot 
do but better with more expansion and and do penetration but being a bigger bullet doing more damage which i'll get into the other video adjusted volume yeah so anyway clear ballistics gel is not real ballistics gel not by far we know that even going down especially pocket pistols now the eight testing from vista 135 grain plus p gold dot from a four inch barrel only went 11 inches with 0.577 expansion. Again, only 11 inches, which is a fail under FBI protocol and probably why they don't show the results of testing for anything less than that. And there are other 38s as well, but any lesser calibers. In Lucky Gunner, from a 4.2 inch barrel, it went 13.3 inches, and from a 2 inch barrel, it went 13.6 inches. So about 2.3 inches further on Lucky Gunner. Um, Basically, guys, anything smaller than 9mm 38 and down, you're going to see it go much further in clear ballistics than you would in real ballistics or real world. That's very dangerous. So now when you're looking at Chris getting into pocket pistols and supporting them and all that, which it really isn't great, though carrying something is better than carrying nothing, um, you know, you don't want to rely on just because you pull something and there's a firecracker noise, they run away. If something's trying to kill me or they decide to continue to try to be a deadly threat to me, I want something more reliable at stopping the deadly threat than that. Um, so again, guys, especially anything 9mm or under, you're going to have to push it back and from the 12 to 18 inches in clear ballistics. You need to look at 15 to like 22 inches, 23, because over penetration is basically a myth. You're going to miss four to five shots anyway. And most bullets are found still on the body in the back layer of skin and the back t-shirt, uh, etc. Right? With no energy. So, um, you want deeper penetration, guys. You just want deeper penetration. Clear ballistics doesn't work. If you wanted it to work, my theory is you want to take a one-inch pine board Try to take out for variables as far as like not on a rainy day, too moist, etc. Check for big knots, etc. But you could put one inch of wood, probably pine would be fine, one inch of wood in front of it. And then either a few certain amount of layers of gum, gum rubber. I believe you can get it at Walmart in little 5 8 or 1 8 sheets, something like that. You put a couple layers of gum rubber in front of it. Try that. If that doesn't work, if it doesn't give you the proper... Uh, appropriate level of expansion and penetration that relates to real ballistics testing. That's our goal would be comparing the HST and gold dots. Um, then you could use a bottle of Aquafina, put a bo bottle of Aquafina in front of the one inch board in front of uh, either 10 or 20 uh, clear gel. And then maybe it will give you a cheap repeatable scientific medium. So you could basically get near real ballistics testing though. Again, heat seems to matter. If it's out in the sun in Arizona, like a certain tester, in the sun, in the heat, you get these great penetration numbers. That's because clear gel kind of melts a little bit, and it's not as thick as real ballistics gelatin, which is real pig stuff. You know, pig and boar are fairly similar to human tissue, and that's why we use it. So guys, clear ballistics doesn't work and make smaller calibers look better. So please reevaluate if you're using a smaller caliber, because that's what you have to try to get something on the deeper end of penetration. And you may just want to reevaluate reevaluate your caliber choice altogether. Guys, please look at my other video upcoming on why caliber arguments are not dumb. And I will compare all the HST and gold dots to what the real comparisons are. Instead of saying, well, they're all the same. 